Yeah, no thanks to that. Easter Bunny. Now look, Peter Cottontail needs a day too, okay? So we got preempted by the Easter Bunny. And God. And God. On today's show, we have the results from provocation. Good as show. well as our uh, normal various topics. And an interrogation video from co-owner Cousin Otis. That's going to be entertaining. Of course, he denies everything, just like everyone else. I haven't heard you deny anything. In fact, uh, didn't you owe him five bucks for lunch? Who? Aren't you going to shoot him over in the back over eighty dollars? Eighty dollars? Who, who are you talking about? Broker. The b you and Ted. Ted. I owe Ted nothing. In fact, I. Wait, wait no. Uh huh. No, I got, I got, I got the the eighty bucks. Well, when we, next. well, when we come back, it's what? it's time for provocation and many, many surprises that the show held. We'll be right back. If you like the action you see on the AON Rundown, then don't miss the hottest show in town. All or nothing professional wrestling live. Have you ever dreamed of stepping into the ring? Well, now is your chance. All or Nothing Professional Wrestling now offers training to be a pro wrestler, manager, or referee. Achieve your dream. You will learn under our highly trained instructor, including WWE Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov. To sign up or for more information, visit www.aonwrestling.com or call 942-1122. That's 942-1122. This is Nikolai Volkov Hall of Famer. If you would like to become a professional wrestler, aonwrestling.com. The next round of AON training classes is forming now. Call 693-9111 for details. So do you want to experience all of the action, all of the mayhem, all of the awesomeness that is AON Professional Wrestling live in your area? Well, here's what you do. Call 814-942-1122 or send us an email at aonrundown at gotimepromotions.com. That's 814-942-1122 or email us at aonrundown at gotimepromotions.com. We'll come to your area and we'll make it a night you'll never forget. Just by the look of the show poster, it was apparent big things were in store, and we got way more than expected in Altoona with provocation. Well, if you're going by the show poster, you would have thought that Cass Edison was going to grow at least 80 times his size and take on Mecha Godzilla. But that, that, would, that would have been interesting. Would have been a great main event. Would have been intense. We should sell tickets. Can he do that? Like, can he say some word in Japanese and all of a sudden. Gaiaka, Gaiaka. Well, anyway. What started off tonight? We'll come the AON Pennsylvania champion Justin Starr came to the ring to address the AON fans in attendance. My life is like an open book. It's a great novel. No, that's one book you folks should judge by cover and not read. It would be boring, or at least something kids should not be reading. It's kind of happy to see Bam at that point. It's like a metaphor for society of how we live our life today. That's. I don't know about that, but yes, it is true. Bam came down to ringside and interrupted his. Uh, and of course, little... the beatdown. Oh, the beatdown was just. Unbelievable. Brutal, and that press slam into the knees at Nostakov and Bam Bam. And oh, I'm surprised Star could recover from that. Following up with Bam Sharpshooter. But we'll uh, get more to that later on as when we get to the match. How about the Thugs? Chaos, OFT, taking on John McGraw in a handicap match. And I was kind of confused about a handicap match. If the Thugs won, would they have been the co- Television champions? Well, of course, Black Lightning coming to ringside on crutches, and of course, Black Lightning cannot see a microphone without talking into it. The matchup was a great back and forth battle between the uh, Thugs Big John McGraw. I mean, he did manhandle the Thugs a bit on this match. Well, they too. attempted to steal his chain early on in the match. That didn't work out very well. No, it didn't. Uh, and John McGraw had that John huge, McGraw. big swinging side slam for the victory. That was just an impressive move from somebody in right. size. Well, of course, there was a, you know, a little. Black Lightning. Who was victorious? John, John McGraw. McGraw. Still, TV champ was the title on the line? Yes, and the uh, title was on the line. Thanks, that hat came whipping past you at ringside, lightning through it. That was uncalled for. Did you see the catch I had? 
I snagged that right on midair. That was impressive. It hit me in the face, then you caught it. Oh, really? Okay. Well, anyhow, in our next matchup, it was a battle between Cartel, Psychotic Assassins, Manchild against the 2010 Thunder Cup champion, Colin Blair. This match was surprisingly better than I thought it would be. I, I Going into it, you got to see realize Manchild has really stepped up his game plan. Since he's debuted since last year, he has come together as a professional wrestler. Well, let's look at it this way. That Manchild has that untapped strength that he doesn't even know he has. No, he don't. Colin Blair That's is scary. a great technical, high-flying wrestler. Just great athlete. Very intelligent. But one of the more curious things about this matchup to me was the fact that Colin Blair was wearing that British mask. What's up with the mask? I don't have no idea. I mean, maybe solidarity with him and Bam. Because him and Bam have been kind of hanging out, spending well, time together. Bam Bam was at ringside as well with the mask. So I don't it, know. Maybe it's... It, it does seem like when Bam Bam is with Colin Blair more than they are with uh, Nostikoff and Shafir Sh Sh Kapoor. Easy for you to say. You say that ten times fast. No. That, no. That, that. Should have just said ISP. Yes. Made it easier. So. Well, anyhow, well, in this matchup, we saw an appearance of someone strange. And I'm not talking about Mike Edwards. It's very bizarre. Uh, I, 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 who, where did this guy come from? Well, he eventually revealed himself as Maximus Claypool. Well, before we get to that, let's just say that who won the match? True. Who won that matchup? Well, of course. That was an amazing match. He caught that Union dart or British dart, you call him the powerball. But now on to uh, the subject you want to talk Maximus about. Maximus Claypool. Well, apparently this guy came from the Freedens Metal Facility. Apparently where he was a mental health specialist. They, yeah, well, there. I hate I bullies. I hate bullies. I hate bullies. That's all we Apparently heard. he doesn't like bullies. This I guy is a walking PSA. Next thing you know, next week he's going to come out and go, and knowing is half the battle. The more you know. What yeah, or that. What happened then? The, the Empire cuts him off during a, a song, The Itsy Bitsy Thank Cartel. Thank I, God. I, I, I've never been so happy to see Cousin Otis because I was getting a little weirded out by this weird man. I, you got to admit, though, the message that Maximus Claypool was talking about. It, so apparently he pretty, is aligning pretty. himself with the Assassins, which is... I won't even bother finishing, but it, I the thought... The Strong it Survive. The Strong Survive. So you believe in the bully mentality? I didn't say I believe in the bully mentality, but the strong do survive. So, no, that's what ridiculous. happens there? Our AON co-owner Otis P. Hellenbach comes out. C4 well, attacks Maximus. And then they put their hands on a co-owner. Look, Maximus stepped foot in the ring. He was just this guy from the Freedom's Mental Hospital that met the psychotic assassins, in particular Psychofusion. Then he steps in the ring. You are now in an AON ring. You know what can happen to you. He got a nice drop kick from C4. Which led to our tag team match but of the... The point is, you don't we... lay your hands on a co-owner like they did Otis. Well, then maybe the co-owner should stay out of the ring. No, Because the co-owner also gentlemen, knows his damage. Gentlemen, that's 49%. There was also a matchup. We know that. There was a matchup, a tag team match. James Ford, C4, Empire members against Psycho Fusion and Ryan Fierce, Psychotic Assassin. Uh, there was a lot of great action this match. Great match. No question. Match. Surprisingly, great tag team. Shall we say uh, continuity between Ford and C4? I never thought I'd ever hear those words or even agree with them. James but, yeah. Ford is a tag team specialist. But C4, I mean, granted, he was just tag team champions not that long ago. But yeah, still. C4, the Ghost Army, tag with Justin Starr. Maybe we start calling them C Ford if they tag up more often. Hey, oh my God, might have a new team there. I like it. I. Don't encourage. That was C Ford was pretty good. Well anyhow, it was a seesaw battle that saw the That winners. new variation of the Angel Wings, I believe he's calling it Angel Wings 2.0. He not only did the normal Angel Wings, but he picked them up on the shoulder and then basically just threw them on the ground. It was just Devastating. Yeah, it was amazing. That was oh, just power. Pure power by C4. Brutality. Unbelievable matchup. Then it was Kess Edison with the poster hanging it out of the entranceway. He poster. loves that poster. Yeah. Wouldn't you if you were that size? Well, you're wearing a shirt, so... I'm, I'm showing a little bit of uh, support for our AON You're trying owner. to kiss up so you don't get fired. No. Brand new, by the way, it's at great. all AON I just want to sell AON merchandise. The more money AON makes, the more my check will get bigger. Bigger. Anyhow... Zach Brain, Project 13, Shane Malice, they did this... Uh, no, wait, wait, before you get to that... Are you guys convinced yet there is no trouble among Project 13? 
It's, well, now there's not, no, because I've apparently never, these guys are getting along. Okay. They patch things up. I told up, you but, there was nothing wrong. They argue like family. There you go. We argue like family. They bury the hatchet, next time it's going to be in the back of this guy's head. Anyhow. But wait a second, that's not called for. Kess announced ISP is not cleared by the Athletic Commission and therefore was not allowed on the show. Well, after what happened to him in uh, Johnstown at the Grove, I wouldn't think that he'd be We cleared. saw that, what, two weeks ago, the footage of the taser and psychofusion. Unbelievable Brutal. brutality. <laughs> well, when you get in a ring with somebody like psychofusion, you can expect that one of the voices is going to tell you to kill somebody and use a taser. Well, Anyhow. of course, because well, because uh, Israel Sharif Accor was not cleared, uh, there was no way that uh, the cartel could live up to their obligation. So therefore, Project 13 was going to be deemed the number one contenders, or yeah. so we well, thought, until... Well, before you get too far into that, let's not forget, Bam Bam had a match, Colin Blair had a match, and Nostikov was in that match. So, so they needed another member of who the... Was, who was left? The Colonel! Huh! KFC Norway. Unbelievable! Yes, KFC Norway in his... His suit. And what else? He's like, I can't wrestle. I don't have a pair of knee pads. And uh, you can't well, the ma that. magically, there was a pair of knee pads that just suddenly appeared from from you. How about that? Imagine them apples. You know, I always pack something extra just in case. You don't know what's going to happen. Never know when they might need Mike Edwards to step in the ring. Exactly. Well, anyhow, Project Thirteen just dismantled AC Norway. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, it was, yeah. was kind of like this. Actually, only a little more brutal. Daniel Sepulveda, you're not. Yeah. yeah. Or was that? Well, anyhow, multiple kicks the head. Project 13 dismantling AC Norway pretty much entire matchup, taking Nostikov completely out of it, and defeating with cartel that. members AC Norway with a devastating move, and I'm sure it's on TV right now. It's called watching the, uh, it on It's unbelievable. <laughs> the, the conspiracy theory pile driver, a double stop pile driver. That is a sick looking move. And Project 13 victorious. And that left AC Norway. A little bit of a bloody mess. All right, guys. Purple Syndicate, NJ, Sherrod Hall, taking on the Hassle team. And then horrid purple stuff. The team of Cage Hassle is what you're yes. trying to say. Yeah, I know. I, I try Seriously, and I apologize for this, I tried my best to concentrate on the action in this match, but this individual who... That's got to be a... Mar Marcus Nomad Cage is aligned with. Let's just say that well, we this is not for... Uh, it's not for people with weak stomachs. Let's put it that way. Well, he introduced his new ring girl. Yeah. Bobby Frappos. Bobby. Ring girl. We'll use that term in the loosest sense. Um, let's just say that it, Nomad was a little bit distracted. I, I think Nomad was a little bit off his game. I think he's a little love smitten. I think a lot of love smitten. I'm so disturbed right now. I know. I know. But Myself, I'm crazy. Anyhow, <laughs> Bobby was a distraction. Everybody. He even gave Jeremy a kiss. And, uh, just. Well, not only that, but Bobby apparently is thinking that this is MMA. Comes out, rings our bell, then walks in the ring with a, a round two card. Don't look at me. I wasn't going to stop performing that bell. Did you see the biceps on her? I oh. wasn't stopping her either. She, uh, Guns are bigger than Marcus Cage. Anyhow, that caused an interruption in the matchup. And the winners were... And the bad part was, there's no disqualification. They couldn't disqualify her because she didn't actually hit anybody. She just paraded around the ring with the cart. Okay. Makes, the woman makes Nicole Bass look feminine. It's just sick. And in the end, who was victorious? Oh, Purple Syndicate. Syndicate. Missile dropkick, leg sweep Scary. combination. That's all that matters. That was an impressive move. Another victory from a tag team. NJ Syndicate, really, oh guys, stepping up his game. And they Sherrod all... Hall, without a doubt, two of the most complete. But did you notice Sherrod handing out the purple stuff to everybody except for Bobby Frapples? Would you give her purple stuff? I wouldn't give her the time of day. Nothing no, against, against nothing you, against Jeremy or Eric Castle. They're my favorites. No offense, Nomad, but seriously, you need to have the prescription reground. Uh, just saying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our main event: Justin Starr, the AON Pennsylvania champion, taking on our former champion one time, Bam Bam Hassel. Gentlemen, match of the year candidate. Uh, I would think probably. I mean, Justin Starr had big odds stacked against him with the cartel ringside. And he had his ribs taped up from earlier in the evening, which was basically like a bullseye right there. What else are you going to focus on? You're going to go for the injured body part. Exactly. The cartel did beat him down at the start of the provocation. 
I think we already mentioned that thank you check. Just in case of the late viewer joining us. Well, anyway, this matchup, i tell you what, on paper it could have been something fantastic. But with the cartel at ringside, I mean, the action spilled out to the outside, and uh, AC eating a kick from Justin Starr, which uh, I was pretty happy to see. Shut him up for about 10 seconds. But of course, the action inside the ring, though. It was, the match was amazing. It was. The pariah driver, the, uh, the you know, 10 punches to the well, head. You know, you see, somebody, that. you see somebody with the 10 punches, you usually see him push them off. But the headbutt for reversal into the pariah driver was amazing. That was unbelievable. Now, as we mentioned, then there was a the well, star. The, dub the double crossbody as well. Both men down for 10 count, almost. Oh. It was just, these guys were throwing everything, throwing caution in the wind. When they were one-on-one. -on -one. Once again, though, there was still a lot of outside interference from the cartel. And they just, why can't we just ban cartel members from ringside and project members? And well, as he's about to allude to, and as I alluded to earlier, there was a shot with a flag in the back of Justice Star while the referee was... Flags need to be barred from ringside. And then he followed up with the Larietto! Manchild of surprise entrance, distracting the uh, other members of the cartel. I don't know. I don't even understand why he was down there. To even the odds. Why is it any of his business? Look what happened the last time when he stuck his nose in cartel business. I told you, Manchild, stay out of their business. Nothing bad will happen to you. Didn't Manchild come out to create a distraction well, for Fear and Psycho? Exactly, Fear and Psycho coming out of nowhere. They thought, uh, the, the cartel thought that they were going to come behind Manchild. Oh no. They came into the ring and uh, did a little uh, chicanery of their own, so They to did speak. the dirty work for Justin Starr. So, with Bam Bam now down in the ring, of course Justin Starr goes to work on him. He finished Bam off with his own finishing move. Yeah. We've seen Bam win a lot of matches with that sharpshooter. He put Bam in the sharpshooter and Bam tapped out to it. Taking advantage of the situation, Justin Starr still AON Pennsylvania champion. Winning. And he's just, I just hanging on by true. a thread anymore. I'm reiterating. Okay. All right, well, I think we better go to a commercial break while these two reiterate each other. We'll be back. Yo, do you want a good deal on good stuff? Then you need steals and deals. We got cell phones, DVDs, fashionable purses and the like, bling for your lady, hot watches, and we got more. Did you ever run an event that just didn't go well? How about some marketing campaign that sounded great on paper but fizzled? What if I told you there was a company that could actually make your business dreams come true? GoTime Promotions can do anything your business could possibly need in the way of advertising. GoTime can set up mass media marketing campaigns, you know, radio, TV, print, as well as organize small and large scale events. So if you're thinking, hey, I wonder if they can do stuff for me, yes, yes we can. All or Nothing Wrestling would like to take this time to thank our sponsors for their continued support. Saw and heard Kess Edison say that ISP suffered a major injury during the match against the Assassins and damage done. Damn. Mike Edwards, how much damage was done to ISP? Well, apparently it's a major knee tendon injury. He's not clear to wrestle. There's no major timetable for his return. That's all we know at this moment. It's all he's really, you know, giving us to work with. You can't really trust ISP, though. Uh, as much as I hate to agree with uh, Mr. Drew Shannon, I do agree. This guy is a ring general. He's a consummate professional. He looks for any advantage he could possibly take against an opponent, including an injury and of he, his own. Well, he, not just an injury, but kidnapping as well. I mean, he, ta he just take things to, takes things to full advantage. Yeah. He's like the thugs times ten. Don't let the thugs hear you say that. You never know where they might be working. That's yeah. true. 
Of course, you know, ISP will use this injury to his advantage. I think I said Count that. on it. I think we did say that. We did? Yeah. I thought I said that. Anyhow. We all said that. Anyway, moving on. Maximus Claypool. <laughs> what is this guy about? What, well, apparently he worked at Frieden's mental facility and, and met Psycho while he was there. I, I don't know. That's so all of a sudden he's... Chance meeting I would not want to be a part of. Apparently they, they have an issue with bullies. Well, he did wear a tag and said he was a mental health specialist. Uh, How'd that creepy guy get a job there? He's like a walking PSA or some bad after-school special. And that's one to grow on. The more you know. He had to go there. That's Sorry. pretty good. Anyways. Anyways, moving on. Moving on, apparently Psycho introduced him to fear and the child. They all just found something in common. Yeah, the hardcore creepiness. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm, I'm very creepy. I like his stance on bullies, but I don't know. Strong Some, survive the weak fall. Something. Shut up. Anyhow, the nomad has his ring girl, Bobby Frapples. Uh yeah. Yeah, his um, the unanimous girl. winner of the search. Why didn't he just hire a a, a what? A brunette. Yes. Or a redhead. A brunette. Well, Cage apparently awesome. stated that all MM fi MMA fighters have to have a ring girl. And now he has a ring girl. And you know where she's from? Freedoms? China. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. But this is an MMA. This is pro wrestling. We don't have ring girls. We don't need the cards up. There's no round twos. This is pro wrestling. This is not MMA. No, it's not. Well, he'll realize that soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, when we come back, it's more interrogation videos with our general manager, Samantha Sanders. New look. New logo. Same great entertainment. The Altoona Curve are back in action with a new look and a new logo. Catch all the action this summer at Blair County Ballpark by calling the Curve Box Office at 877-99-CURVE. Fireworks, giveaways, celebrities, and more. Join in on all the fun and affordable excitement found only in Curve PA. For tickets and information, call 877-99-CURVE or log on to altoonacurve.com. Looking for a great way to raise money for your group or organization? All or Nothing Professional Wrestling can work with you and your group to put on an entertaining, family-friendly show to raise the money you need. Scout troops, sports boosters, youth groups, nonprofit groups, school organizations, and more can benefit from a fundraising event with All or Nothing Professional Wrestling. For more information, call 814-942-1122. That's 814-942-1122 or email rundown at aonwrestling.com. Let AON help you with your next fundraiser. We received a new delivery of interrogation videos, this time from the ownership group of AON, and today, gentlemen, we're looking at AON co-owner Cousin Otis P. Hellenbach's video. It's going to be interesting. Now, the way this works is once AON general manager, lead investigator, uh, Samantha Sanders, reviews this tape with the authorities, the right to know law kicks in, and we have to show these videos to the general public. There's something just doesn't sound right about this to me. It doesn't sound legal or something. It's the law, Mike. It's the law. Howdy. Samantha Sanders. I know. Nice to meet you. Hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Yeah. What? What does that got to do with anything? You're in an interrogation. Anyhow. But I don't understand. Now that that's taken care of, do you know why you're here? I got no clue. Really? No clue. You don't know why you're here? I, no. Why? Um, a couple of deaths that may have been happening. Yeah, that's a shame, boy. That I'll tell you what, there. That uh, hell of Chinese fella. Uh, that he's just glittering to me all the time. Right. Yeah, what about the other ones? There are a few. There's 
little more important here in the organization, like Alex of Norway, like the broker. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. You may not have too much motive for Alex, but the broker definitely. Uh, the broker's an idiot. That boy done not, He did his own thing, but when messing with the Russians and Nostikov and. I got nothing to do with that. Was he so much an idiot that he gave you 49% of the company? Well, he wasn't that dumb. I mean, he's obviously smart enough to see, you know, that I, that I would run things well. So you had something to gain from his death? Well, I, I, I don't know that I'd say that, but... I would. Well, he signed it over to me before he died. Clearly, that means I had nothing to do with it. Well, I'll have to look into that. Ah, well, you can do it all you want, but that doesn't mean I don't do anything. Well, I'm so sorry if we don't trust you because of your affiliation with the Red River Rebels. I'm sorry, but... They're my family! What do you mean? What do you mean by association? They're my family! You haven't exactly been honest, boys. I've always been... I tell the truth. I went Boy Scouts. They gave us a scout to... I always had to say it. Raise my hand and swear to Jesus and all that, so don't tell... I'm from the South. We, we're honest folks. All right, well, say you are being honest with yes. me. Yes! Who did it then? I got no clue. Oh, come on. Check out that fella in the white suit, the one running around with the uh, towel head, the mask wearing foreigner. In the cartel? You talking? Yeah, yeah check him. Out. Check that other fool that uh, uh, Cass or Les Edison or whatever he is. All right, I'll definitely check with him. I didn't do nothing. Shoot. Take All the right. away from me. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right. Thank you for your time. Come back here, my Jack. If you like the action you see on the AON Rundown, then don't miss the hottest show in town. All or nothing professional wrestling live. Fitness is the affordable neighborhood club that's close to home, so you can get fit wherever you want. It's always open, so you can get fit whenever you want. And it's got a comfortable, friendly atmosphere, so you can get fit however you want. Really? Snap Fitness. A good fit. installment of the AON Rundown. And you know, co-owner Cass Edison really wants to hear from you, the fans, and your thoughts and opinions on All or Nothing Wrestling. All you can do is, well, you can send us a message at rundown at aonwrestling.com or go to aonwrestling.com, click on interact, click on forums, and you can talk directly to one of us, the wrestlers, our, own, our owners, especially our generous and big-hearted co-owner, Cass Edison. Um, really? You now own five bucks. For what? Gimmick infringement. What? Nothing. Join us right here at 11.30 a.m. on ABC's Project Fitness. Coming at you next. Amen for AON. Ted doesn't need that five bucks anymore. Well, he's dead. Let Ted rest in peace. <laughs>